This isn't a movie. This is reality, on the ground, inside China's AI robot revolution. Forget what you think you know about robotics. The race to build a real-life robotic workforce is happening right now, and the new contenders are shocking. While the world was watching science fiction, China was building it. For years, we've all seen those viral videos of incredible advanced robots, mostly from American companies. They were amazing, but they always felt like prototypes, like cool glimpses into a distant future. But what if that future wasn't so distant? What if, while we were all watching demos, another country was quietly building an entire ecosystem to not just invent these robots, but to mass produce them? In late 2023, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, MIIT, released official guidelines with a clear goal to achieve the mass production of humanoid robots by 2025. Today, we're going inside that revolution to see the machines that are no longer science fiction, but are already walking off the assembly line. Let's kick things off with a robot that has taken the internet by storm, the Unitree G1. If you've seen a video of a small, eerily fluid robot doing kung fu, landing a standing side flip, or getting kicked and shoved only to regain its balance with spooky agility, you've likely met the G1. Unitree's robot bullying videos aren't just for show. They're a strategic demonstration of dynamic balancing and locomotion, critical for any real-world use. This isn't a robot meant for a pristine lab. The G1 is an agent built to navigate our messy, unpredictable world. It stands just over four feet tall, weighs around 35 kilograms, and its base model is packed with 23 degrees of freedom, giving it a staggering range of motion. Upgraded versions can even have up to 43. Its knees bend further than a human's, and its hip mobility is off the charts. But it's not just flexible. It's fast, walking at over four miles per hour on uneven terrain and upslopes. One of its most mind-bending features? It can fold itself into a compact box for transport, a feat of engineering that screams practical deployment. And then there's the price. The base model of the G1 is listed at just $16,000. Now that's not exactly pocket change, but for an advanced humanoid robot, it's revolutionary. It puts the G1 in reach of thousands of university labs and research institutions, which is exactly the point. Unitree is creating an accessible platform to fast track the development of embodied AI intelligent software with a physical body to interact with the world. We've seen it handle delicate objects and, in a stunning display of balance over brute strength, even pull a 3,100-pound car. The goal isn't to make a robot car tower. It's to prove that the control systems are so advanced they can maintain perfect stability even under extreme loads. Agility is one thing, but can these robots handle the grind of heavy industry? That's where the Walker S comes in. If the G1 is a nimble agent, the Walker S from UB Tech is the industrial powerhouse. Standing at a human scale 1.7 meters, or about five feet seven inches, this robot isn't a research project. It's being deployed right now on the factory floor. UB Tech's Walker S has been integrated into the advanced manufacturing centers of electric vehicle giants like NIO. Here, it's not just a demo, it's a worker. It performs quality inspections on door locks and seat belts, and even applies car emblems with a steady hand all while moving alongside human workers on the assembly line. What makes the Walker S a game changer for industry is its focus on continuous operation. Recently, UB Tech debuted a version capable of autonomously swapping its own battery. It walks to a station, plugs in its drained battery, and grabs a fresh one, all without human help. This solves one of the biggest hurdles for automation, downtime. A robot that can work 24-7 is a massive leap in efficiency. The intelligence behind it is just as impressive. The Walker S uses large language models, the same kind of AI behind ChatGPT, to understand complex commands and plan its actions. It combines 3D vision with semantic navigation to map its environment, allowing it to move safely through a chaotic factory. This isn't about replacing humans, but augmenting their capabilities by taking over repetitive, demanding, or dangerous tasks. The Walker S proves the era of human-robot collaboration isn't a forecast, it's a reality. An agile body is great, but the real revolution is the intelligence inside. The most advanced Chinese robots are moving beyond simple imitation and starting to develop what looks a lot like physical intuition.
A key part of this leap is the development of AI systems that learn through self-correction. For instance, researchers at the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center have been developing models that don't just learn from a static library of videos. They learn by imagining a task, running millions of physics-based simulations, predicting the outcome, and then correcting their own mistakes. Think about how a human learns to catch a ball. You don't calculate the physics. You develop a feel for it. These new models, which combine vision language AI with physics engines, aim to give robots that same kind of intuition. This is the difference between a robot that only repeats a program task and one that can genuinely solve problems in real time. And this brain isn't limited to one company. This technology is part of a collaborative ecosystem, which brings us to another key player, Agibot. While some companies are talking about mass production in 2026, Agibot, a startup founded in just 2023, announced it had already begun mass producing its robots claiming to have produced nearly 1,000 units by the end of 2024. Inside its Shanghai factory, you can see their humanoid robots working on the production line, assembling and testing their fellow robots. Agabot is creating a data collection factory where its robots train on real-world tasks like folding clothes and cleaning, constantly feeding data back into their AI models to get smarter. This rapid loop of production, deployment, and data collection is what's accelerating the entire industry. These incredible machines didn't just appear out of nowhere. They are the direct result of a coordinated national strategy, China's Robot Plus Application Action Plan, and its 2023 guidelines on humanoid robots are government blueprints that have set the ambitious goal to mass produce these machines by 2025 and achieve a world-leading position by 2027. This isn't just a suggestion. It's backed by massive investment and a national innovation ecosystem. The government has fostered collaboration between top companies like UB Tech, research institutions, and manufacturing giants. They are even opening up real-world scenarios like robot restaurants and automated malls to accelerate data collection and public interaction. The scale of this ambition is what separates a tech demo from an industrial revolution. China is rapidly increasing its robot density, reaching 470 industrial robots for every 10,000 manufacturing workers in 2023, a number that has more than doubled in just four years. By building a reliable domestic supply chain for everything from high torque motors to advanced AI chips, China is aiming for technological self-sufficiency in the field that could define the 21st century. Of course, this all raises huge questions. The AI race, is no longer a theoretical concept. It's a practical reality with massive implications for global manufacturing and jobs. But from a purely technological and industrial standpoint, the speed and coordination of China's efforts are undeniable. From the shocking agility of the Unitree G1 to the industrial might of the UB Tech Walker S and the self-evolving AI brains that power them, the message is clear. This is not just a collection of cool tech demos. It is a top-down industrial strategy, executed with incredible speed and scale. The era of the humanoid robot is not on the horizon. It has arrived, and it's walking out of factories, ready to be deployed into our world. The debate about this technology is only just beginning, but one thing is certain. The world has changed. The robotic workforce is here. We've seen what they can do on the factory floor, but what would you want a personal robot to do for you at home? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to keep up with the technologies shaping our future, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.